Isaac Caruso. I'm a muralist from Phoenix, Arizona, and I'm excited to talk to you tonight about an interesting new public art movement that's here in the Valley and expanding worldwide. So, going back to the beginning of this whole thing in the late 1960s, we started to see the creative advertisement industry turn a corner. We started to see a much more assertive style of advertisement that honed and modeled the modern commercial branding experience. And so what we saw was bolder typefaces with more expressive color palettes on larger billboards with more ads in print and television. And what artists did in response is they created their own very kinetic typefaces and even louder color palettes and kickstarted the modern graffiti movement. Now, 50 years later, this has matured and evolved some of it into street art. And street art has become much more socially accepted and appreciated. And street art really just means any kind of DIY um, experiential project that exists in a shared space. So even if you follow contemporary art remotely, you've definitely seen a big emphasis on this buzzword. And if you drive through 16th Street or Roosevelt frequently, you've probably seen this pop up almost, right? You've probably seen a new mural almost every week, it seems like, and it's awesome. The reason why we creatives are so involved in this movement is because it's a way to change the physical world around you. It's a way for anyone to make a bold statement that's going to reach a countless amount of people. And muraling has definitely been in Phoenix as a whole greatly. So, <laughs> right? Murals are a mutually beneficial outlet for positive self-expression. When you see paint on a wall, it says a lot about a business and how they do business. So, every building has a history or a purpose for why it's standing, and that's worth being conveyed. And, in my opinion, paintings are infinitely more interesting than any typical branding or signage. So, when you see a mural, you're not just learning about why the building stands, or we're learning about what kind of goods they can sell you, but you're getting to see a little bit about Sheriff Joe Arpaio. <laughs> You're getting to see a little bit about what the spirit of that company is. Now, businesses benefit mutually off this experience because oftentimes murals go viral and the images are covered by newspaper and television media. And this is a great thing because it attracts businesses locally. Another important factor is you should definitely wear a respirator when you play with spray paint. <laughs> yeah, they're a way to change the world around us and a way to experience something new. And this is particularly important for Phoenix because we're notorious for urban sprawl. So, this allows a refreshing break from the norm and heavy commercial or residential repetition. And it also gives our city a visual identity and kind of a brand, if you will. Now, <laughs> the best part about this movement is anybody can get involved, not just as a participant, but also as a creative. Even if you don't have the artistic know-how, you can go out there, make a statement that countless people are gonna see. And another point, um, yeah. So this is a way for anyone, amongst all one and a half million of us other Phoenicians, to go out and simply say, I'm here. All the images behind me are in Phoenix, were created by Phoenix artists. Thank you.